Hey, the Fisher Road would shake it. Fat cat dude coming at you. <laughs> Happy New Year. Hey, 2017 in the books. Appreciate y'all, man. All y'all that been with me since 1987, and y'all that just got with me, I appreciate it. comes Bobby right here. Look, Bobby. Bobby! <laughs> I think we already got a full 40 him in here with a blown out cam. <laughs> so look, man, this could be a big year, dude. A lot of collabs, hopefully. Anybody y'all want me to collab with, Put it below in the comments. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Like this video, all that good stuff. Go step up the YouTube game for 2018. 100,000 subs by this time at the end of the day. Next year, this year, yeah. One year, 100,000 subs. It's gonna happen. About to go in here right now to Bass Pro. That place right there, about to buy a new boat. Y'all gonna go in there with me? It's gonna be a good year. Appreciate y'all. Let's see what happens. <laughs> you can always go pontoon. On the pontoon. Bless her heart. Yeah, the pontoon action. I just don't know. All right, be quiet. I'm making the video. I'm singing. These right here, these are the hot, the hot island nitro right here. Some of you guys got four wheel drive trailer. Four wheel drive trailer. Look at that. Setting on 22, son. You know, so when you walk into these bass pros, you can see all these animals up. A lot of animals, stuffed animals up. Like right behind me up top, those bald eagles. I shot those, I donated them. All these deer you see, all these Pope and Crockett deer, I shot them. A lot of them with slingshots. That moose right there, 250 yards out, slingshot. Uh, yeah, I got this one world-class, not typical spike buck in here. I'm not sure where that's at, but I'll show it to y'all. But yeah, let's go look for a boat. I mean, Bass Pro is cool, man. You just walk up and look at live animals in here. Look at that. Look at the jig on that. What's up, Bobby? Hold on, man. We got bald eagles right here. Look at that thing. This must be where Ann Martins gets his britches from. I think he even like he's a little bit tighter than that. Bust his heart. Oh, he, can, he can move though. That agility of Aaron Martin's is top notch. A pair of Tommy Biffle shorts right here. I mean, Bass Pro's got it all, man. A lot of signature series. Aaron Martin's yoga pants, Tommy Biffle short shorts. Just did it. Just pulled the trigger. Going home with something extra today. Something's gonna be behind the truck following me home. Uh, can't believe I just did it. So. It's gonna be a crazy year. Thanks for helping me buy my boat. <laughs> Man, look at that beauty. I mean, it's got speakers on the back. You know what I mean? I told you I was gonna do it big. Just can't wait to get home. Can't wait to get home. So I went and, and, I, and I did it. Uh, I was going to drag this out so you guys wouldn't know what I got. I don't know if you guys can see back over there or not. I got a boat. Ta-da! That's what I got. Bobby! What's going on, man? <laughs> Bobby, man. He, uh, he was going to go out with me on this thing today, but I said, no, nah, man, I'm going to take it by myself. Bobby will probably go out with me next week. But, uh, yeah, man, this is a Ascend 128T with uh, Yak Power. I don't know, man. I had like, uh, I had, this is what I got. You guys probably thought I was getting a big boat. My big boat's over there. I got the old Gambler with the old 225 EFI on it. it needs to be, this just fiberglass work. You guys will probably see that in March. Yeah, this right here, man. Don't know anything about it. I don't know what these compartments are or nothing. I got a seat for it I had to put together. I had, uh, I had, I had Bass Pro gift cards and I had, uh, I had, had some Bass Pro points and um, I went and got this. Now you guys will probably say, man, why did you get that? Why didn't you get another one? I don't know, man. This is what I got, you know? I don't know what to tell y'all. Just let me live my life. I thought that was Bobby, but Bobby just drove by. So, that might be a live well. I don't know. If you guys got any tips or anything I need to know about this thing, comment below. You know, if you guys haven't already done it, subscribe. Of course, always subscribe and like and all that. You know the deal. But uh, the Potomac River, man, right down the road. We're going to go put this thing in the Potomac. We've been having decent weather. It's only been in the teens. It's been getting all the way up to like 28 during the day. So uh, 
The water should be fine, man. They might be on bids, so might be able to yank something off a bid. I don't know. Let's go. Uh, let's go down to the river and see what it looks like, and take a second for its maiden voyage. I'm so excited! I got a kayak. <laughs> so I was pumped up to get down to the river, thinking we could drop the kayak. It's kind of windy. Sorry about the wind, but we're down here at the river. I was like, mm, can't wait to get the kayak out, man. Try it out, and then get down here and this frozen tundra. Can you believe that the river froze up 14 degrees? It's crazy. But you can see where Bobby dropped his boat out. Bobby must have backed up here and dropped his boat out the other day. So I'm going to try to put the kayak right out in there. And see, knowing the bass will spawn right out there. So I'm going to try to see if I can't pull one off the bids. Because like I said, this is the time of year where they start spawning hard. I'm not going to lie to y'all, kind of pumped up. I mean, this is the best time of the year to come out here fishing. Because not a whole lot of people are out here on the water fishing. You don't see a lot of boats this time of year. You know what I mean? All right. When we're fishing for these spawning bass, when the ice is up like this, I always do like unorthopedic kind of stuff. I like to uh, I like to drop shot a whopper plopper. Sounds crazy, but you gotta think outside of the box. You know what I mean? You think outside of the box is always better to have two two birds in the bush than to have a horse in the stone. You know, because the old saying says you can lead an old dog to water, but you can't make a horse do tricks. So this is kind of what we're doing. See, there you go. See, and there it is. That'll go right down. I'm gonna make a hole. I'll show you guys in a second how to make the hole in the ice. Here we go. It's, it's barely. I'm taking the kayak out because of the ice. Probably isn't safe. It's probably only about 10 inches thick. Oh, yeah. Oh, piece of cake. All right. Let's go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Just like this. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. Okay. Not the safest right there. All right. It's trying to go more that way. Ugh. All right, right now we're probably about, I don't know, 11, 12 foot of water, give or take. It's like a super good workout. I think I see some beds up here. I should have brought my antlers to get the buck bass all wound up. Ooh, take a break. I just saw, it's got a few beds over here. Got a few beds over here. And I'm gonna show you how we get through the ice. Oh man. Whew. This is all textbook. This is actually, man, it was a token in the, I think it was the 82 Classic, Kelly Yarbrough and Wu Daves. This is the technique they were both using on the 82 Classic. Uh, you can probably see it on YouTube. Oh. Now, what we do now. We're going to make a small incision to make a hole instead of an auger. Okay. Didn't, didn't know that was going to happen. Hey, is that easy? We'll take out Whopper Plopper. I'm gonna drop it on down. We're gonna see what happens. 
got an audience, so that's great. Oh, yeah. And like I say, textbook, you just take that whopper plopper. You can drop her on down. Come on, baby. Oh, yes, that. Now, pneumonia's starting to set in. I'm gonna get hypothermia. So I'm gonna make this happen quick. All right. All right, now. Oh. Now. See how that's just gonna set there? They're gonna get mad, swirl up, and they're gonna get that bad boy. Textbook. Everything's starting to freeze on the deck of the kayak, but that's what happens. We're gonna back up now a little bit, and we're gonna get away from it and give it some time. And give it some time. Probably have to wait about an hour and a half, two hours. We'll see how it goes. All right. All right. I've been sitting here for a while now. Probably been sitting about four or five hours. And ain't ain't been hitting on much. And ain't ain't been hitting on much. There he is. Look. There it is. Finally. Look. Boom! Goes the dynamite. You're coming up. Oh, God, get out! You're coming up. Oh, God, get out! Oh, he's look. Oh yeah! Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> Come on, baby. Look at that, man. <laughs> I tell you what, man. This ice fishing on the Potomac River is no joke, man. This kayak is going, man. I just cannot wait for the rest of this year, 2018. A pump, baby. Water ball, tree top tall. That thing right there. He's so cold, he's barely moving, man. Them things are, man. Them things are very lethargic this time of year. If y'all want to see more kayak videos, if y'all want to see more videos in general, let me know what y'all want to see. Any tips for the kayak? What do I got to add to the kayak? Let me know. I got to let her go. Man. I got to get back in that water. I don't want her, I don't want her to stiffen up anymore. You can tell she's on wood. I, they, they, they look dead on wood here in the Potomac. But, uh, Fat Cat Newton, man, appreciate y'all. Subscribe, like, comment. Happy New Year.